Um, okay, what we have here against this Town Hall 9 is a Goho attack. What makes this Goho attack a little bit different than the other ones we have shown is it is a one hero Goho attack. I was asked to do a video showing uh, an attack with just one hero and my king is down right now. He's going to 28 and uh, got three stars out of this, so we're posting it. Um, the only thing that really changes with this attack, not having the king and the damage that he does, is we're going to use two Valks to deal with the Archer Queen. That's the only thing that we have to do differently or figure out how we're going to do is dealing with the Archer Queen. Um, just throwing golems down and wizards behind it is not going to take out the Archer Queen effectively. Um, so what we decided here first was we're going to draw out the Clan Castle. And I believe we just throw one hog down here at the Archer Tower. And the Clan Castle troops come out. We throw a double poison down. And that takes care of them. Then we moved on to the attack part of the phase, and we came down here, we threw down a golem here, and one here. And they were going to go bang on the walls in front of these two cannons. We then threw down uh, a, wizard ta or a wizard here, and one here. And they were going to obviously take care of these buildings. We threw another wizard down here, take care of the gold mine. And we had another wizard I threw right here. Um, I was worried about this uh, archer tower here at the 9 o'clock position. The range, I think, came in something like that. So I didn't want to throw down my art or my wizard over here in fear that I would lose him before he did any damage. So what I did was I put the two wizards together, get them to take out the gold mine first, then we would have them deal with the dark elixir storage second together. All right, then what we did was we threw down our archer queen, or I'm sorry, our our CC Golem. We threw him down here. Oops, wrong color. Threw him down there. We threw the Archer Queen. And then we threw our two Valks. Okay, so we used the army camp to draw in our kill squad right here. We had our jump spell, which we try to take up as many compartments as possible. And we were successful in doing this. And we dropped the jump right around in here. So we had access to this compartment, this compartment, this compartment, and even this compartment. All right. Then the plan worked well, as you'll see, all the way up until the Archer Queen decided to take a walk around this way. But even with her walking, we still got the three stars. I then took my hogs, and we did, with a base like this, we did a single finger drop. And I believe we dropped them somewhere over in here. And the goal for them was to path along from this side. Uh, we dropped, I believe we dropped a heel somewhere around in here, around in here, and I believe we dropped another one somewhere around in here. So that would allow our hogs to path all the way through the base for the most, uh, un unharmed. They actually did have um, double giant bombs. They had two, uh, two sets of double giant bombs right in here and right in here. The kill squad dealt with these double giant bombs right there. Um, we were lucky with our hogs that they, did, they killed or they took out this... Uh, they took out this expo right here, and then they 
went this way. So they never even triggered the double giant bombs, which obviously would have ended the attack right then and there. So we kind of got lucky with that. All right, so let's go to the video, and we'll see how this plays out. All right, here's our Goho with no Barbarian King attack on number two. And the first thing we do is we drop a hog to draw out the clan castle troops. One hog does really well, keeps them together so they, you know, the drag doesn't fly away from the loons. Double poison takes care of them. Just a quick note, for the double poison you want to have one being max four and at least a minimum of poison two to actually kill the dragon. If you're using a one level one poison, the dragon won't pop, but he'll have one hit left in him. All right, so the golems go down, the wizards come down, and we're looking at the archer queen coming down, the golem coming down next, and the vet jump spell goes down. The golems are going to the core. The valks are coming in. They're going to the jump spell as well. We lose one wizard, and the valks are now taking care of the archer queen, and the archer queen is starting to walk because of the storages. The hogs come in, they start their part, part of the attack. The golems are still going, tanking for the hogs. Hogs are under heal. And here's where we missed the double giant bomb with the expo because the archer tower was still up. So the archer tower was still up, that saved our bacon. The skellies are really starting to become annoying. Um, but as you can see, while under heal, the hogs do really well. The third and final heal comes down, takes out the Teslas, takes out the air defense, takes out the wizard tower. And at this point, we still have a baby golemite distracting or tanking for the archer tower, which really helps because we only had one hog killing, or two hogs killing the archer tower. As you can see, the queen is still walking, cleaning up, had full health, didn't do anything really other than clean up duties. And we'll fast forward this. She did take out the barbarian king. And then it goes down the town hall. And they race to the builder hut. So we got three stars. No Barbarian King, high level Archer Queen, level 27, which helps 